Okay, so today I'm going to do the uh, trailer brake warning fix. Again, I guess this would be a part two because before I cleaned the module that's back by the spare tire and I thought it worked. It seemed like it did, but after a little while, it started to come back on here and there. So, through looking up stuff online and through like a few people have actually hit me up on that through YouTube, which is really cool. Thanks, guys. I can't think of your names right offhand, but thanks a lot. You know who you are who've hit me up. Um, but. I found out what the code was, and I can't think of it offhand, but I'll put it in the description. It's uh, C11 something something. I don't know. I'll put it in the description, but it actually is. This good for has to do with this, with the actual annual whatever you want to call it that engages the trailer brakes. Um. So yeah, I bought the part. We got this here. It's an AC Delco part, GM part. Here's the part number. It's in there. Open that up in a bit, but basically I'm gonna replace that. And that's what is hopefully gonna fix it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by removing this panel, this fuse panel. And I'm gonna have to set my phone down to do that because it's locked in by, I'm pretty sure by clips around it. There's no screws or anything that I know of. So hopefully that's all I have to do. I, I'm gonna pop that out real quick. I'm gonna set my phone down and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so there's that panel for the fuse box. That thing was really tough to get off. You just kind of have to work it on this edge all the way up here and keep popping it out man it's really it's tough it seems like it's going to break it but you just keep popping keep moving around and popping it off and it'll come out all right yeah it's got these that's what big clip set a slide into those, those little slots anyways then it's just going to be this to do this with one hand that comes out i'm gonna have to set my phone down again but that's how that does you just pop that out too and then i'll show you what's up okay so now that that's loose you got that there's gonna be it's hard to see that three plugs on the back maybe you can see dark gray, cream color, and whatever, black. So yeah, you're just gonna have to remove those. Those three, all right. All right, so now that that's removed, that's where those three plugs went, it's just like that. There's the front side. What you're gonna wanna do is these triggers, you gotta remove them. So, whoops. All right, so I have a trim tool. You're just gonna have to slide under there and pop those out. You can use whatever you have, try not to scratch up your bezel, but those pop basically straight up and out. So I'm gonna do that. And then what happens next is it looks like on that, you're just gonna have to pop these little things over they lock in right there with those two tabs so you're gonna have to use a screwdriver or a trim tool and basically just go right down in there and pop it out and this thing will slide it'll come right out so I'm gonna do all that and then I'll come back all right so again there's the part number the AC Delco number and the GM number. So if you need to order this, I think it was about 50 bucks. I got it at AutoZone, but you can get it off Amazon or whatever. 
You can get it on Amazon for a little bit less, 40 something probably, but all right, so pretty much it just comes with your new your new switch. There's my old one. It's a new one. Same thing. And also it comes with uh, two new tabs. And those only go in one way, so they sit flat. I'll show you how that works. But all right, so I'm gonna put this all back in. I'm gonna put that module or the controller, I guess, back in there, lock it in. And then I will show you how to put those tabs in here in just a sec. It's, it's too hard to do. I don't have a tripod or anything and I'm inside the truck, so I can't really film this very well, but all right. Okay, so I got the new switch in and now I just need to put those tabs in. So what happens is, all right, if you tried to put it in like this, see how that is? If you push that straight down, it would sit on an angle. So basically what you have to do is just rotate it. Turn, whoop, it's hard to do this. All right, so you put it back in. Now if you put it in, let it sit flat. It's hard to do with one hand, but you push that straight down, it'll sit flat. If you rotate it the other way, it would just sit down at an angle. So the, you just put, the, put both of those back in, push them all the way down, and then you're going to pull those out. All right, then you're just gonna hook up each one of your connectors and push it back in. And I'm gonna do that, I need both hands as I always do with this. This is super hard to do with one hand. I can't. All right. All right. So now I put them both back in. I push those tabs back in. It's good. It's back on. It's sitting there just like it was. All right. Well, hopefully we don't have any issues. I'll let you know in one of the next videos. Make an update. See what happens. All right, thanks.